I'm a relatively recent transplant from Southern California to West Tennessee, home of the Scopes Monkey Trial. I knew when I accepted a job transfer to this part of the country, I'd be in for some culture shock. It's been an interesting experience, to say the least. I've tried to stay out of local politics because most of it's benign. However, the recent passage of anti-education legislation in Tennessee is too important to ignore. Understand that while I'm only addressing the Tennessee legislation, the same type of anti-science politics is happening in every state. The recently passed House Bill 368 requires state and local educational authorities to, quote, assist teachers to find effective ways to present the science curriculum as it addresses scientific controversies, end quote, and permit teachers to, quote, help students understand, analyze, critique, and review in an objective manner the scientific strengths and scientific weaknesses of existing scientific theories covered in the course being taught, end quote. Now the only examples of controversial theories listed are biological evolution, the chemical origins of life, global warming, and human cloning. HB 368 is worded in such a way as to sound as if it's simply protecting the rights of teachers and students to engage in critical thinking. And after all, who opposes critical thinking? When in fact, it's designed to protect teachers who want to introduce religious non-science as an alternative to actual science education. Notice that the controversial theories they cite in the bill are only considered controversial to religious advocates. The overwhelming majority of scientists in the fields of biology, climatology, and other disciplines agree that evolution and climate change are established science. The question of the chemical origin of life is yet to be answered, and human cloning is illegal. Any debate about human cloning is one of legal or moral issues, not science. But that's not really the point, because for religious advocates, the use of the term human cloning is just code for stem cell research. This type of legislation paves the way for K-12 teachers to introduce whatever supplemental materials they choose into the public school science curriculum without fear of disciplinary action. Now the Senate bill, SB 893, was withdrawn by its sponsor in 2011, but was resurrected in March of this year and quickly passed the Tennessee Senate 24 to 8. While Republican Governor Bill Haslam didn't have the guts to officially endorse this steaming pile by signing it, his inaction was the same as a signature. This monkey bill became law without the governor's signature on April 10th, 2012. The National Center for Science Education has detailed information on this and other legislative assaults on science and is arguably the best line of defense against the erosion of science education by creationists. I highly recommend that everyone visit their website, Facebook page, and YouTube channel. But if you support the academic freedom of religious zealots to introduce myth and superstition into science classes. Error, 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 error.